Hey everybody, Yui here, back with another unboxing video. Today we have another six pack, this time being the Neo Drago or Strength Mode Drago and Chaos Swarmer. Because again, I know it says Grizzwing Dragonoid, but I don't get why it only counts these two. Like you think you would count the Geo Gun also. Anyways, this is our uh, first thing we have Strength Mode Drago in. And obviously we got new uh, Chaos Swarmer, which I just remembered something I forgot to uh, pull out, but that's just off to the side over here, so very easy. We'll just set that there. Okay. But yeah, pretty much everything is new except the uh, Nelius, because that's unfortunately a reprint. But oh well, Nelius is a good boy. And also we finally have another frickin' Ventus Nano. Seeing how for the longest time it was just uh, Ventus Legem. So yeah, we got Strength Mode Drago, Nelius, Arliss, Platinum, Grizzni- Grizzning? Wow. Grizzwing, Chaos Swarmer, Ventus Sledge, and Arliss Lancer. Although it says Serpent on the side here, the card actually says Lancer. Come around to the back, you got your obligatory product shots and whatnot. So, again, Drago, Grizzwing, Swarmer, Nilius, Lancer, and Sludge. And, of course, you got your three character cards, your three or three normal cards, two being your Nano, one being your Geogon, uh, your three character cards, your six cores, and your three gate cards. So, yeah, let's just get into it. I am quite excited. But to really just have these in the collection and honestly I might use the Swarmer. Big might. I think I also might use the uh, Lancer in a deck. Because I only know the stats because of Greg's video. And while Greg says Strength Mode Drago is trash, I mean Hunt says the same thing. Hunt says it's all trash but I mean that's Hunt. But to me, in my opinion, Strength Mode Drago has some potential. It seems pretty good. But, you know, I have proven many times before I don't know what I'm talking about, so... There's that. Free the pores and everything from the plastic here. And, of course, you get your, uh not quite check sheet and your toy battle game rule sheet which does not explain like any of the new symbols or anything but you know because it's for the uh, baby game right now to cut the Bakugan free without scratching them also that Nilia set is very uh, loose I don't know if the normal cores like that. I didn't think to pull it out and check it, but yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to uh, close up the nanos and then I'll open them up on uh, camera. Let's see, Greg didn't do anything with the nanos, but with me, you get to see the uh, nanos. If I can figure out how to properly close sludge here. Oh, okay, I see. Interesting. I like that. Oh yeah, and funny story. Uh, Lancer here is upside down. That's the head. That's the tail. <laughs> I wonder why they uh, chose to package it that way versus, you know, it not being upside down. Who knows? Who knows how or why Spin Master packages the things the way they do. Okay, I really already love how Lancer closes, just saying. Closes and opens, for that matter. Okay, so warmer 
And of course you have two plastic strips because why wouldn't you? I'm afraid that was a uh, bottom wing bits because for some reason it was closed in the packaging. Uh, Grizzwing. It is. I will say it is nice having a uh, second Grizzwing. Seeing how so far all we've had is the uh, darkest one that's only available on Amazon for whatever reason. Alright. And a lot of plastic strips went in the floor, but you know what? That is fine. Again, it's not my one of my videos if plastic strips just don't end up in the floor. Just get this all stuffed back in there. Lancer fell. All right. So let's look at the cores first. We'll look at the gate cards when we get to Swarmer. Since, you know, need to drop a Geogon on gate cards because it's easier. Got Green Fist, plus 150 plus 2. Nice. Another Green Fist, plus 150 plus 1. Still pretty good. Uh, another Green Fist, another plus 150 plus 1. Normal Shield, plus 300. Magic Shield, plus 500. And another Magic Shield, plus 600. No 650s, alas. Still good, though. I just like using 650s. Alright, we'll just guess take a look at Nilius first, since we've seen Nilius before. I think this might be like a slightly different black plastic. I could be going crazy. Again, I did not think to pull out my normal Nilius. But... 600B, and of course it just closes like a normal Nilius does, and 3, 2, 1, Bakugan Brawl, perfect, landing on a green fist, that means it gets its bonus, again that head is, just seems very loose for some reason, alright, Trying to go fast, but not too fast, just because the camera appears to be on low battery. Alright, here we got Strength Mode Drago. Somehow, there we go, it's like, somehow that horn is supposed to pop up. It's, uh, just called Neo Drago, I think, on the card, but show-wise, it's Strength Mode. Got 700B. And honestly, I really like... I, I don't know why, but I think this is a cool-looking mold. It's just like Drago's ready to punch you in the face. How do you close this? That's the question. Oh, okay, those... The tail's supposed to go before those arm beds. Awesome. And just because... With normal... Drago. See how they look together. You can see how there's similar designs on both. Which I mean makes sense since they're both Drago. Okay, arrows there. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Ooh, that was really good. Almost flopped backwards, but still. Alright, and just show them. Together like that. All right. Really like this. Especially happy to have it in the uh, collection. All right. Next up is Arliss Platinum Grizzwing. Unfortunately, just a normal silver body, not like kind of gold-ish body like on Shark Tar or uh, I think the Drago. I don't really remember. But second Grizzwing. Again, I really like how Grizzling, Grizzwing looks, so pretty cool to have another one. It is 900B. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, and just close it up. Again, looking pretty cool in the ball form, and I might use this in a deck. Again, I'm going to have to like really look over stuff 
once I'm done making the video. Uh, there's the arrow. Alright, three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Whoa! He went. And just a cool golden bat who will probably tear out your eyes or something. I don't know. Alrighty. Let's move on to the gate cards. Unfortunately, well, this one might be new. I'm not too sure. So I guess pause if you want to look at the stats there. Alright. And here is Swarmer. I mean, it's just Swarmer, obviously, in Chaos. And of course, as you can see, you can still make the Vylock leg mode. And just close it up. Ooh, that looks so cool. Again, bias for Chaos, but that looks really nice. Alright. And there's a Swarmer. And again, you just... Again, it's always so stiff. I always feel like I'm going to break Swarmers. Because that's so stiff. You just flip out the peg. And unfortunately, we don't have Babadrill or Ghost Beast yet. So they're subbed in for Arliss. But of course, you can still make Vylock with uh, Swarmer. Ultimate Vylock, just missing Vylock, because I forgot to pull him out. But, you know, you don't need him to get the point across. And just plop him down again. And ah, again, that's always so stiff. I feel like I'm going to break something. All right. Let's look at Sledge next. Again, another Ventus Nano. And I think this is Trox's Nano. So just. Uh, move the wings out of the way and then the tail actually unclips and you just swing it around and you got the little like gargoyle bat thing again just nice to have another Ventus finally and also he's pretty spicy but there's Sledge and the tab is on the back so he just once again just kind of right along backwards upside down as nanos do and here is Lancer again I really like how this opens it reminds me of Fangzor got the head then the body just uh, comes just opens up and that is so cool like back off I will bite you I'm an angie snake and the tab is there on the middle of the body and since it's Arliss just we'll just plug it on to uh, Grizzwing if it will peg on just pull that is a very small tab uh, da -da. nope that's definitely uh, out all the way It's just a very tiny tab. But either way, it just... He, it rides upside down like other nanos do. There. <laughs> now it's on there. And there goes Lancer. Well then, Lancer's telling me I don't want to be on uh, anybody. Thought I saw like more detail that can pop out, but nope. Alrighty. So, we'll look at the cards. Arliss Lancer. I honestly don't know who that is. I think it's Harperion. I don't remember. But Magic Shield, remove enemies Baku Core. Magic Shield, Green Fist, remove enemies Baku Core, and plus 200B. Not bad. This is, yeah, okay, it's Trox's Nano. But Ventus Ledge, Three shields plus 1600B, four shields plus 3000B. Again, spicy. I wonder if uh, Chaos Crestlin will have a plus 3000 since the uh, main faction Austin Brawler ones seem to be plus 3000. Because, I mean, Fury was too. 
like plus, uh, four cores plus three thousand. All right, just put these cards in the ways we went through them. Darkest Nellius Core, double green fist, 600B, three damage, plus 1000B on a green fist. Pyrus Neo Drago, or Strength Mode Drago, Magic Shield Green Fist, 700B, six damage. Again, Greg says it's bad, but I feel like it could be good. Because, I mean, 706, that, that has potential in my eyes. But, again, I also don't know what I'm talking about half the time, so... <laughs> Arliss Platinum Grizzwing, Shield, Magic Shield, 900B, 3 damage, no bonus effect, sadly. And lastly, Chaos Swarmer, 3 energy costs, 1000B, 3 damage, and land on a Magic Shield, add a core. Again, I see some pretty good potential, because, I mean, you're easily hitting like 1650 on a Magic Shield, and then you could just throw another Magic Shield on that and you get higher. So again, in my eyes, potential. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. Check out the links down in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!